Hello, I'm Luis Martin del Rio, and in this video I will be giving you some advice on how to detangle and remove matted hair with a brush. Artero has many different types of brushes. The most specific for tangles are flexible, universal, and those specified for matted hair. These brushes are identified by their type of pin. The space between them and their hardness are all ideal for eliminating matted hair. When we choose between them, we should take into account that the harder and the thicker the pin, the more amount of hair will be brushed out, but it will accelerate the detangling process. And if we want to save more hair, we must find fine pins and flexible brushes, even though it will take longer. It is important to use a product with high conditioning content to help soften the knot and that the brush slides with more comfort without extracting more hair than is needed. Let's see what different examples of matted hair we have here. Here we have a mesh of hair and it's the first phase of the hair beginning to tangle. At this point is where the mesh begins but it's easy to open it and to separate it by hand. Here we have an example of a knot that is separated from the root. The mesh is in the upper part of the matted hair. It is no longer easy to separate, but we have enough space to be able to brush it comfortably between the skin and the knotted area. Here we can see how grass can generate knots that are quickly going to stick to the root. Here we already have an extensive knot, weathered and stuck to the skin. In this case it will be difficult to get the pin between the skin and the knot. If our dog has meshy tangles or small knots, we could try to brush them out, dry, using a conditioner spray, but in this case we have to try to soften the knots whilst bathing. First off, I'm going to be using a shampoo. I will be using Artero's Moisturizing and I will use a mitt to clean in depth and soften the knots. Leave it to soak in for a few minutes. The second shampooing will also be a moisturizing shampoo. We'll finish the bath with Protein Vital. In this way, we'll condition and detangle. I'm going to rinse off the protein, then I'll soak up the excess water with a towel and we'll move over to the table.
To be able to brush more smoothly, to help me I will be using Artero's Matte X. With the detangling brush I'll be very careful not to scratch the skin, but I'll work near it so I can drag the knot from the inside out. We brush in the direction of the hair growth and as soon as we have located the knot you can change direction, loosening the root a little. Thanks to this system and these brushes, we will be able to detangle our dog's coat in less time and without pulling so much. If we aggravate the skin during this process, we can use a balsam spray to help us on those specific areas that will relax and recover the skin. In a few minutes the skin will be fully regenerated. Now we'll continue drying and getting our dog back into top tip condition. I hope that these tips will give you a helping hand with a common daily problem.